Uh, hi everyone who's watching this video and I hope it finds you in the best of our tip-top health condition. I'm not a fan of making videos but I think I had to come up and then uh, you know make these so it goes straight down to the book. Right, uh, I do not think uh, some of you guys watching this video are gonna uh, make sense out of it because some may think, oh, they may reckon I am speaking gibberish, but that's all right. So uh, you either take it or leave it, I'll leave it to your own discretion. And uh, to mine, I think it is the opportune time for me to come out and then say what I have to say. Uh, fair enough. I will start by saying uh, silence is golden. That is so true. But it's golden to those that do not have what to say. And it's golden to those that think they haven't been offended. But I think I've been offended somewhere, somehow, by some fox and cyber that came out and then, you know, when I do uh, put me down or something like that. All right. Uh, mastering the art of mendociloquence, coupled with or married with or intertwined with Zebanism, does not really make one uh, a cyber Amonra. No. Uh, for starters, it is very bad for somebody to come out when you want to put a message across uh, different folks and you start demeaning, belittling, dehumanizing persons. There are so many ways you can front a message without really coming out to, you know, uh, bringing somebody down. That is so orthodox. I think it would be very nice if somebody came out and then spoke straight to the point without meandering, you know. Uh, drawing again different persons or something uh, like most especially those that think they're sensitizing people or different you know because life is a carousel you know yeah it rotates around and then you find it the other way around so there is no reason for you to do that because that is very bad first uh, there is no reason as to why somebody would like to attribute a message or something then you come out and then you start involving people that are not even involved in that fight that is derailing. You are derailing from the point. Because if you want to drive a point home, do not drag in other people. It is not necessary. You see? Okay. Uh, some of us have lived in the past. I'm a person who lived my past and loved it in every bit. And I am not regretting nothing. And for my present, I am still living it. And I love it. Then for the future, I hope for the best as well, because I know it all lies in the hands of the of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who is my personal creator. You see, uh, I would still say that there are things that would really come out strong and fight for, and one of them is going to be uh, my family. If you're having a chit-chat talk about me trying to bring my past to make sure that you bully me down to something, mm -mm. Because there is nothing that you're going to speak that I haven't really had in this uh, world. I've had everything. And you being very good at squatting vulgar does not really make you, you know, the best person in the world. No. Because all of us, our lives are on the pedestal. Okay, fine. I will fight for my family because I love it and I live for it. I will fight for my religion because I believe in it and I love it as well. Then I will fight and protect my country because those are the three things that I think are very important to me. The rest, that is bollocks. Okay, let this go out to those people that think, you know, they have the audacity, they have the bravado to come out and then, you know, start dehumanizing people on Facebook. You can do that to me today, <laughs> but trust me. If I bring the war to your death step, it is going to be a little bit different. I will step on the gas pedal and I will not really release it until I get you in the corner as well. And I will do the same to you. Okay, so it is going to be the laws of Hammurabi. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. And that is going to suit people that think, you know, they're the champions of our media bullying or something like that. Uh, with that all said... Thank you very much for listening to me. I wish you all the best and I love you all. Stay blessed.